Turin Red Sun. Turin Red Sun's running on. Turin Red Sun. Well, welcome along to this BMW Hong Kong Derby feature interview. And uh, this time around, we're going to focus on Turin Red Sun, trained by Douglas Weiss and uh, will be the mount of Alexi Bedell. Pleased to say that both gentlemen have very kindly joined me uh, on this uh, Zoom and uh, we'll be uh, chatting to both trainer and jockey very shortly. Douglas, Alexi, uh, you're very welcome. Many thanks for, uh, for joining us uh, here this afternoon and plenty of excitement building towards the, uh, the weekend come Sunday with the culmination of the four-year-old classic series, uh, the BMW Hong Kong Derby. Uh, Turin Red Sun is a horse who's uh, run very well in both legs uh, of the four-year-old series uh, so far. And I'm pleased to say uh, both uh, Douglas and Alexi now join me. Gentlemen, many thanks indeed. And uh, Douglas, I'll, I'll come to you first off as the, the horse's trainer, of course. And uh, well, he's a horse who's run two very nice races in, in both first and, and second legs. How has he been since uh, the, the Classic Cup run, which was, uh, which was very good in defeat? It was a good run. I always had... Um, the opinion that he was going to improve from that race. Um, he, he had a similar preparation to Russian Emperor, and uh, I think Alexi felt what I um, see at home is that there's still room for improvement. So couldn't couldn't have been happier. Look, it, it was a bit of a sit and sprint, but our horse picked up when he needed to, and he showed a bit of tenacity and hit the line. Uh, we've spoken about it before, Douglas, in, in, in numerous interviews. Obviously, you're a man who's, who's riding career. Uh, needs very little introduction. Obviously, you actually won, uh, won three derbies in the space of four years. But more on that shortly. You've got the luxury of riding your own horses in track work. What have you felt from Turin Red Sun to suggest that, that he's ready to peak going into this race? Well, these European horses tend to give you a different kind of a feel. They, they take time to adjust to the surface, uh, the pressure of Hong Kong, and more so the racing pattern and style. But since the first day he stepped out, he indicated that there was something there from, from, the, from his trial to his first race and then how he progressed to his second race. Um, he, he just kept improving and that's what you want to see. You want to see a horse start to appreciate and enjoy his surroundings. And when, they, when you can get that out of them, you can start to train them towards a derby. Uh, just uh, on those performances so far, both the Mile and Classic Cup, has, has this guy been the forgotten horse, Douglas, in your opinion? I know you might be slightly biased, but um, he's, both of his runs have been extremely good, and he might just have flown under the radar a bit. Would that be fair? Well, it would be very fair, yeah. I, 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 I kind of started him later than normal. He's probably had one run less than I would have liked to have had. But having said all that, he's, he's quickly adapted, and whatever I've asked of him, he's, um, he's accepted everything, really. And I think the final... Um, Curtin was, was last week when Alexi sat on him and he, he gave him a, a, a very easy yet comfortable uh, barrier trial just for a good hit out and he, and he had a lovely blow after that and since that trial he's, he's stepped up again and he's improved so that's what you want you want to be able to, to, you know, to, to, to get the work into them and, and they can accept it and they show improvement every time. So, yeah, I, I will agree with you. He was a dark horse. Um, he, he certainly ran well first time, but he was nowhere near on anybody's radar as a derby horse after his first run. But I had a big call to make after that first run. You know, do, do I step into the Classic Mile, uh, sorry, the Classic Cup, and, um, and take a chance? And I did. And it, I, he, he got the extra points. But having said that, he beats a lot of horses that are, he's going to be competing against. So um, he stood his ground, and that showed me that he's, he's ready to, 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 to take them on in the derby. And on those, those winners you rode as a, a jockey, Douglas, just having a look back, obviously Super Saturn in 2010, uh, Feifei 2012, and then Akib Mathid in 2013. Now, I know figures in the last few years obviously suggest that you need to be in, in triple figures, but your horse not too far away. Does he compare to any of those? I mean, obviously, they were you know, three very talented horses. Do you feel you've got a horse in a, a similar mould with Turin Red Sun? I think I do. I think Akib Mufid was, he was just, he was a very good horse, and he, he indicated that. He's, funny enough, he's by the same sire, so he's got a little bit of Akib Mufid in him. He's a, he's a, a hand smaller, but what he makes up, uh, sorry, what he loses in, in height, he certainly makes, makes up for in a bit of courage and heart. But being by Dubawi, these horses, um, they, they are resilient and they, they, they're strong, tough, 
especially mentally, and they accept what, whatever you give, they throw at them. So he's got a little bit of a similarity to, to Akid Mufi. Um, yes, I agree with you. You normally have to be in triple figures, but if you look at the, the scale, I'm not too far behind the top two, um, and I'm pr probably well in with the rest of, of the field. So he gets his chance. He certainly does. He's a very nice horse, very likable horse as well, who's progressed all the way through the series thus far. Um, Alexi, if I may come to you now, many thanks for, for joining us, of course. Now, there was an article written in the press recently um, uh, which says, from your point of view, to quote you, that the best is still yet to come from this horse. Uh, how confident can you be going into the, the BMW Hong Kong Derby? Do, do you really feel you've got a live chance with this fellow? Yes, of course. Um, I'm very confident because I'm, I'm very happy to ride this horse. Um, I believe he, he's got a, an ideal preparation uh, for this race and he is coming on the on the, at the right time and uh, his, his run in the Classic Cup was massive, you know. So um, I believe the 2000 will be good for him and uh, the draw seems to be much more than correct. And, uh, you know, from that I can only be confident and, um, and just... Douglas just said he is a tough horse and he is strong mentally and uh, I think he proved it uh, in the cup because it was only a sprint uh, uh, after the home turn and he and he managed to give me a, a, a great turn of foot. Uh, he wasn't really relaxed and he, he, he still trying very hard for the line and uh, I think it was uh, uh, only very positive. Alexi, you've had a, a taste of a, a Hong Kong derby last year with Healthy Happy. You rode him. He obviously finished close up, uh, just in behind, obviously, the, the major placings. Um, just the, the enormity of this race. I mean, obviously, your, your trainer that you're riding for, Douglas White, has won three, as we've already mentioned. Um, uh, this is a, a huge day, isn't it, for a rider? I know the situation and the circumstances are a bit different with, with obviously, restrictions and, and, obviously, no crowd, etc. But... How much does it mean for, for a rider, uh, the Hong Kong Derby? How much do you want to win it? Well, the, the, the first time when I came to Hong Kong, I was like, uh, hopefully I will adapt. And now the, the question is like, uh, as a jockey, you want to win that big races in Hong Kong. And the Derby is, uh, is a real uh, achievement. So um, finding a good ride is, is already something uh, uh, difficult, but win that race is just um, amazing. So um, this is all you dream about, uh, being a jockey in Hong Kong. So I will try my best, of course. Yeah, it certainly is one of the, obviously, the, uh, the, the pinnacle race. And just, uh, Douglas, just come back to you, obviously, casting our memories back to, to, to 12 months ago, obviously, with the Russian Emperor. We've seen what he's gone on to, to do since then. Uh, I mean, to tick this one off as a trainer so early into your career, I mean, that, must, that would mean so much, I'm sure, wouldn't it? Uh, that means a hell of a lot, yeah. I mean, as, as Alexi indicated himself, the Derby is the race that most owners, trainers worldwide, not, not, not only Hong Kong, worldwide, it's a, it's a very prestigious name behind that, that Derby name. And um, most jockeys, you ask them which race they'd, they'd want to win besides, you know, the, the real serious Arc de Triumphs and all of those, you, they'd name a Derby. And it's a, it's a race, it's a very prestigious race amongst owners. I think personally... Having been here for a long time, I've seen a lot of owners really um, spend astronomical amounts of money on horses in order just to get to participate, let alone win this race. So to have a live chance going into the derby is very special. Um, to answer your question about Russian Emperor, uh, he had a great run in transit. He, he, he was beaten tactically on the day. He's come out of that derby and I think um, he's improved this year, this season, and we, we've seen that. Um, this horse is, is going along the right way as a young horse that's only had a handful of runs now, but um, I think he's got potential to improve and take the next step after the derby. Yeah, interesting, obviously, with, uh, with, with this horse going forward. And, and Alexi, if I could just come back to you, um, just in regards to, to the barrier draw. Now, you're in six. You've got uh, Romantic Warrior in eight and California Spangle uh, in ten. I imagine I, I probably know the answer, but... Uh, one, who are the horses that you, you fear the most? And, and two, uh, do, is, is very much getting sort of on their back and having a target on that pair. Is that sort of where you'd like to be with this horse, given that they are the, the two sort of you know, leading protagonists, if you will? Yeah, of course, you, you want to keep an eye on the good horses on the field um, because apart from the favourite, it's a very open race. 
So you need to be in the right spot. You need to get to get that run uh, smooth and comfortable for your horse to set the distance, you know. So um, I think it's a very tactical race. And from that draw, uh, I think it will allow me to be in, in a position that I want to be and, um, and to face uh, different tactics, you know. Uh, of course, knowing that California Spengel is drawing outside, we, we know that he will have to, to work, uh, work a little bit from the start to, to, to go forward. And uh, this probably allows um, um, give the others every chance to, to get into the position that they want. Yeah, interesting. Obviously, I think with tactics, we'll play their part for sure. Um, Douglas, we've got a question for you from uh, Angeline Chang. Um, now, she says, we, we saw uh, Douglas uh, walk to the starting gate last year. I wasn't fortunate enough to be here last year, but um, she says, you witnessed walking to the starting gate uh, for Russian Emperor. Will you take the same sort of precautions and preparation with Cheer and Red Sun this time around, she asks? I suppose we'll find out on Sunday. <laughs> indeed. Indeed, we will. Um, uh, but, uh, but obviously... In all seriousness, and, and you know, you're a man who obviously takes the, the preparation very seriously indeed. I mean, you know every blade of grass at Chartin almost. So uh, I guess no stone unturned is certainly the way to go. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I, I, I've done my job. It's, it's, it's up to Alexi now. Um, he's, we've got at the perfect gate. He's, he's a group one rider. Fortunately, he's ridden the horse. He knows the horse. He's done a trial on him. He's believed in me, which I'm pretty grateful for in that he asked me for the ride and I said to him, whatever it does next time, he will improve, but I want you to stick with him. And he, and he did. Um, and and he, I think he felt what I was talking about. So, uh, yeah, look, we're on track. I just hope from, from his perspective and from the horse's perspective that it's a true run race. You know, any, any group one where they, they sit and sprint, um, it, it just becomes... Uh, a cat and mouse sort of a chase, and if it, if it's a nicely run race, I think I think every, every horse will get their chance, and that's what these group ones should be about. That every horse gets their chance. Absolutely. Um, we've got another question from from Larry Young here. Um, he asks: Any difference in confidence levels uh, heading into this derby uh, compared with Russian Emperor's derby 12 months ago? No, um, I wouldn't say there's any difference. The horses are both presented well. They both had a very good appetite. They both worked well. I've had positive feedback from, from Alexi after the trial. I've had positive feedback from the horse himself every single day. So no, there, there, there's no significant difference. Um, it, it's now going to boil down to tactics and, and how the race unfolds on the day. It certainly will. Um, many thanks for, for that answer, Douglas. Um, I don't believe we've got any more questions from our media partners. Um, and if, if that's the case, we can, we can wind the interview up here. And I guess it just remains to wish you both the very best of luck with Chir and Red Sun uh, on Sunday. Obviously, Douglas, you're looking for your first as a trainer. Alexi, you're looking for your first as a rider. So we wish you very well in, in that regard. And, and hopefully you get the, the desired result come Sunday afternoon. Many thanks for joining us. Thank you very, very much. much. Have a good day.